What's up guys, ViaPrepPV here, and today I have a brand new product that just came out from GetFPV. This is the Xylo Stack, and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to unbox it, show you guys what it comes with, along with kind of go over all the features of the flight controller and the ESC itself. Now this is a $74.99 flight controller from GetFPV, and honestly it comes with a Beheli 32 ESC and also an F4 processor that has some neat features. So it's actually not a bad value considering it's only $74.99 when, you know, usually a flight controller is around $35 to $40. And then, you know, looking for a 6S ESC, um, you're looking at anywhere from, you know, maybe $40 up to $70, $75, maybe even pushing $80 depending on what ESC it is. Um, so this is a pretty good value considering it's, a, you know, it's one package deal. But uh, some key features of this uh, flight controller we're going to pretty much go over Um is that it actually does have um, a ICM gyro, um, but Betaflight has taken away, you know, the 32K sampling, so you won't be able to do that since Betaflight doesn't support it anymore. Uh, but it does have six UARTs. It does have um, four PWM outputs. It does have an I2C um, protocol, so we can put a GPS or whatnot onto that pad. Um, it does have VTX power control, which that's one really big thing that I seen and um, wanted to pick it up because I thought that was pretty neat. And then also has smart audio control, you know, camera control. It has LC filter, a beeper, LED strip, and um, it has a, a receiver mount where you can actually mount like the Crossfire receiver on it. Um, so let's go ahead and open up and see what it comes with. And uh, let's take a look. I haven't opened it yet. <clears throat> Look here. It's packaged really nicely. Doesn't look like you know it's not in a bag or anything. So this is the flight controller here. So it comes in like these little sleeves. And it looks like we have a 4 in 1 ESC cable, some extra soft mount gummies. Maybe that's for the ESC. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Um has like a little barcode thing there QR code and then that's the flight controller itself and then we also have ourselves the 401 ESC comes with XT60 comes with two um, capacitors these are rated at 35 volts and they're 470 I believe they're both 470 yep so two 470s um, comes with another 401 connector some more soft mounts not sure why there's so many soft mounts in here it's kind of a waste well maybe if you rip one it's kind of nice though kind of use them for other builds and then this is the uh 401 esc pretty nice so let's go ahead and uh take a look at the um ESC itself really quick. So this is a four to six S ESC. I guess you can go lower if you really wanted to, um, but it does have Beheli 32 and does all that fancy stuff with it. Um, other than that, it's just pretty much an ESC. Um, really the filtering is really going to be dependent on, you know, I think drone mesh does a lot of uh, 401 ESC filtering guides. Like filtering and kind of checks the noise in them. I don't have the capability of doing that, but looks pretty sweet. Don't have any, doesn't look bad, but I'll be putting this in a 6S build. All right, we went ahead and we zoomed in on the flight controller to kind of go over all the pins. And then what we're going to do is probably do a weight and then kind of go from there. So, anyway, on the top pad here, we have our video output. So that's going to be from the video out from the OSD chip in the flight controller to your video transmitter so you can get video on your goggles. And then we also have smart audio or this can even be used for um, tr uh, tramp telemetry. Uh, we also have our VTX power and then ground. And what's really cool about this flight controller is if you do use these pads here, you can go ahead and shut off the video transmitter. Say if you're in, since you're crash, you crash in a race and uh, you don't want your video transmitter blasting, you know, RF and also, you know, overheating. You can go ahead and use a switch on your video uh, radio and you can go ahead and shut off your video transmitter, which is a really awesome feature. And this pad, this power pad here does use battery voltage. So if you're using a 6S battery, you're going to be getting 6S voltage 
through that pad. So just keep that in mind if you are using something that must not doesn't like battery voltage or you know it's 12 volts or 5 volts. So make sure if you're using a 5 volt uh, Unify or anything like that, that you're going to be using a five other 5 volt pin on this, and you're not going to be able to use the shutting off of the uh, power of the VTX. So moving here on the right hand side, we have um, camera control. Then we also have um, camera. So this is going to be go from the video from your camera into the OSD chip. And then we also have power and then we have ground. Now on the right hand side here, we have um, TX3 and RX3 and then five volt and ground. And I can see this being used for the like nano crossfire or micro crossfire receiver since their pins are all kind of lined up right there. Um, if you don't use crossfire, you can go down here and say you're using FreeSky, you have the um, S bus pad, uh, S bus pads right here. Then you have your S port, and then you also have your five volts and ground. And then if you're using Spectrum, you can go ahead and use this one, which is the DSM signal. Then this is the 3.3 volts, and then this is the ground. Moving over here to these, we have our ground, our five volts, and our LED. And then we also have a buzzer pad here, plus and minus. And then we have right here, we have some more UARTs, which is starting from this one right there. We have ground, five volt, TX4, RX4, and then the two last down here is if you have a GPS module or anything that uses the, um, I believe it's the IC squared um, protocol, you can go ahead and hook it up right there. And flipping it over, Right here, it's kind of interesting to see. We have, so some of these are through holes, as you can tell. Then down here, say if you're using the a 401 ESC or not using the stack. Um, down here is the signal pads. So right here we have all the motors, one, two, three, four. And then down here we have our, um, what is this? Uh, ground, VBAT, current, and then telemetry. And then also, like I said, on top of here we have our motor pads. Now, what is this for right here? Pretty much what this is for is say if you have like a crossfire receiver, you can go ahead and just put a header pin right here and solder that on there. And then you can go ahead and mount your actual crossfire nano right to it. So it's directly mounted to the um, flight controller. So you don't have to worry about mounting it somewhere else in the frame. Um, so that's pretty much it on the flight controller. Um, I think I already said this, but you know, it does do um, eight to 30 volts on this. So that's, uh, I believe, uh, 2S, I think it's the, yeah, 2S to 6S, a little over 6S actually. Uh, and then we also have an ICM gyro and all that stuff. And it does have 128 uh, megabytes of onboard flash for black box, which is really nice. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do a wait real quick on the flight controller and the ESC. So first things first, we have the ESC, which is 12 grams. And then we also have the, let's see here, the flight controller is eight grams. And then together it should be about what, 20? Yep, 20 grams. So I will be leaving a link to these down in the video description. Uh, it will be an affiliate link and it does help support the channel. So if you don't mind, it doesn't cost you anything extra. You can go ahead and use that link and uh, it'll really help me out. So I'll see you guys in a future video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.